So today we're gonna make a rocket using Tinkercad. The first thing you wanna do is drag a cylinder into the center, turn sides all the way up, and segments all the way up. And now you wanna click this, make it longer, and scroll through basic shapes to find this. Now you wanna raise it using this arrow right here. And just put it at the same level. It doesn't matter because we're gonna fix that. Now highlight them by holding the left mouse button and dragging. And what this button does is if I were to click it, now they're all one, but we're gonna use that later. But for now, let's click align. As you can see, there are these. You want to click the one here and the one here. So it's aligned. And now you take this arrow. You want to take this arrow and shrink it. No, oops, not shrink. Lower it down. So you get this shape, and now you're gonna highlight it and group it. And change the color to whatever color you want. I'm gonna color it to white. Now you may you use this arrow and raise it. Now for the fins, we're gonna put a box down here, make it smaller. make it smaller so it's like a plate now we're gonna use this As you can see it moves it so we're gonna use this one and put it to 90 degrees and we're gonna use this one Put it to 90 degrees again. Now you're gonna drag the shape here and raise it. Now we're gonna have this one, this arrow, we're gonna put it to 45 degrees. And now we lower it. Now the only problem with this is it's not a rectangle. So to fix that, we use this, put it to 90 degrees, and we put this one. It doesn't matter where you put it, but I'm just gonna put it over here for now, and then make this longer. And now, we're gonna Put it to 90 degrees again. This might be too long. Okay, yes. Now put it to 45 degrees. Drag it in. And now you have this. And now you want to press Control C or Command C and paste it with command V or control V and then use these arrows to turn it so you can put it on all four sides now if you have the problem like this click this button mirror and then this arrow right here, you click that one, and there we go. Now it's mirrored. Oh, what happened? Okay. And now, you just want to drag it in like this. It's very useful to use. And a shortcut to it is you press M, and then click that button. 
and then move it in. And here we have the basic shape of the rocket. Now you're going to highlight it and click this group. Now we have this. Now what we want to do is make is raise this in this area in the sky because we're gonna have to put the flame at the bottom. Now this is more advanced, this part, but anyone can do it if they practice. So you click basic shapes, go down to printables, and then click skeleton. And we're going to drag three of these skeleton thighs right here. Now, we're going to use this back side because there are, is no flame. So, you're going to have one skeleton thigh, which is longer than the other. And then you want to put another one right here and make it taller like that and you can adjust how you want it now you're going to highlight it group it put it to 90 degrees or put it straight because with this one it may not be 90 degrees Now, we're going to put it underneath. It doesn't have to be exact because when we highlight it, press align. And then click these center buttons. It will be aligned. And now this part, zoom out a little bit and put the rocket down onto it you will you would see that the skeleton thigh is too big and we can't not we can't scale it because it's locked so what we have to do is we have to make take the rocket make it a bit bigger and you can tell that it doesn't look that good so we're going to click this make it longer and then realign it And check around you can see over here there's some and then you can fix it accordingly make it bigger okay so I'm gonna group it it's not done but I need to make it taller so I can do it okay Okay, and now highlight again, align, okay, so it's almost done, this part is a little bit difficult. There's also a shortcut on your keyboard. You can press L and Okay. Now, as you can see, it's placed perfectly in there. Now, we can... Now, just put it out to how much you want. This is good. And now, you're gonna highlight this one and press ungroup. And then, 
change the colors to red, orange, and yellow, so it looks more like a flame. I'm going to do a little bit of editing on this. Okay, so now we have the rocket that's, lift, that's lifting off into the air. Now for the launch pad, let's drag a box and put it underneath. And the same thing we did last time, shrink it, make it larger, drag it underneath. And what I like to do is I like to take this radius and make the box a bit smooth so now we highlight it press l on the keyboard and align it oh no what happened oh oops i know what i did wrong okay now when you do this make sure to highlight this and group it so it stays and then you highlight it, align, and then, because we want it centered, okay, now you can take the rocket, ungroup it, and we're almost done, now we recolor, to gray and we're almost done now so we have the rocket and it's like this and just add the square a bit so it looks better I'm gonna have to align it again remember when you're aligning it again group the rocket And then, oh no, did I group the whole Yeah, I grouped the whole thing by accident. Okay. Group. This. Align. Okay, and now ungroup. There we go, our rocket is done.